Hello everyone, my name is Avkash and you must have heard the term tech bio. This term is getting more popularity now these days and in last few years we have seen a lot more traction around the terminology tech bio. In last 20 plus years we have seen the incredible growth in biotechnology. Biotechnology has been around us for over several decades and the term biotechnology has been around us for over 100 years since its inception in around 1919. So you must be excited to know what is tech bio and how it is going to impact you. Once again, my name is Avkash and in this video, we are going to learn about what is tech bio. We are going to go beyond its definition and we will learn how it is going to impact our future. We have to understand tech bio from two different angles. To make our understanding better, we can visualize our understanding with a format of yin and yang. It means these two different levels of information or these two different dimensions of the informations, they are going to complement each other to understand what is tech bio. So let's start with what is yin dimension of our understanding. So before I will go further, and explain it deeper. Let me tell you three different scenarios which are the marriage between biology and the technology. Includes computer science, artificial intelligence, machine learning, computer vision, cloud, and data engineering. Just around the start of this century, the cost to sequence a human genome was about hundred million dollars and now these days after just about 20 plus years you can get your full genome sequence in a text file stored in a five dollar micro SD card which is smaller than a penny and it's an amazing feat of technology and progress and during the very latest COVID-19 pandemic, scientists around the world, all kinds of scientists around the world, working together to create the vaccine which was available to all of us under two years. It means it took about just 20% of the projected time to release a vaccine to the masses. And that was another amazing feat of development combining biology and technology. Now these days, several biotech and bioinformatics startups are working together to generate new vaccines in two to five year spans. It means the work done by these global scientists will unlock the potential for a human to live about 200 years or more within next 20 to 50 years of technological advances. And finally, the most of all, the Google's DeepMind AlphaFold technology is able to predict the structure of any protein with very high degree of predictability with the help of AI models or the artificial intelligent models. We as a common population is not able to understand or comprehend the advances or the capability of this deep mind alpha fold technology for now. However, in coming years, we are going to learn much more about it. Alpha fold is once in a generation at once, predicting protein structures with incredible speed and precision. This is what 
told by Arthur D. Levinson, the former chairman and the CEO of Genentech. So these three different results were possible through the marriage between biology and computational technology, which we also refer as computational biology. So now let's take a look at the other side or other dimension of knowledge or the yang portion of our understanding. In last several years, we have seen the immense growth in the bio platforms. So you must be asking what are bio platforms? So bio platforms are a combination of software, a massive amount of biological data, and finally the intellectual property around a particular biological achievement or biological technology. Something a company has built as its core and the differentiator among other competitors. So after covering both yin and yang to understand our topic, we have enough fundamentals for us to learn our objective towards what is tech bio. So tech bio is a combination of three different but internally connected disciplines. First one is the digital bio and the second one is the machine learning which is heavily focused towards deep learning and computer vision and the third and the final one is the biological automation or the biomation as I call it. Now let's take a look at each of these disciplines individually. First is the digital bio which is a combination of technologies such as CRISPR, DNA sequencing and synthesizing. The idea behind digital bio with CRISPR is to edit a genome sequence for whatever reasons. These reasons could be just finding the genetic markup of a human and finding the affinity towards certain disease and the immunity against certain virus or creating a medicine which is totally depend on a person genomic signature or we call as genome defined medicine. Second dimension is machine learning which includes artificial intelligence and computer vision. With the help of machine learning and other related technology, the scientist can solve the century old problems and expedite the delivery of results by combining computer softwares and computer assisted machine learning models. The third and the final dimension is biological automation in which an organization can have very large amount of biological data and with this and with the help of this biological data they can create various future pr products such as creating a new vaccine with the help of using computer assisted model rather than a very long tail human trial these organization can also develop various medicine by using the computer assisted models to understand drug and drug interaction, the impact of certain drug on a certain genomic human profile and various other computer assistive model which can use this large amount of biological data to process in cloud and generate results in very small significant amount of time. So finally, the tech bio is a combination of these three different disciplines which are interconnected together to advance the human living in next years to come. So now you know what is tech bio and that's all we have to cover in this video. This video content is the culmination of various kinds of information provided by various organizations such as NFX, DeepMind, Benchling, Mammoth Bio, Illumina and many others. I do appreciate their virtual assistance to create a content like this. If you like this content, please share it. 
subscribe it and comment it. Thank you so much for your time and I am looking forward to see you in my next video. Until then, please do good and be good. Thank you.